Good morning, it's Sandy Welch, and welcome to our Sunday morning moments this morning. And I hope that you are having a great Sunday morning. This morning we're going to be talking about the two steps to get you from where you are right now to where you want to be. And that could be emotionally, physically, spiritually. It could be lots of ways, lots of areas you want to get better. But how do you shift from one place where you are to a better place? So uh, if, please, if you would, like, share, click on my Facebook group um, and all my um, uh YouTube channel and subscribe and like. So great to see everybody this morning. So this is what we're going to be talking about. If you're on this morning, say hi to me. Leave me a comment. And I am excited about the fact that it is possible to get from where you are to where you want to be. Sometimes we want to be in a better place and uh, we just feel like we're stuck. We feel like we don't know how to get to this place. We are working. We're doing things. We're uh, trying to do the best that we can and it's not really working. So how do you get to this better place? And where's the better place you want to be? Do you want to be in a better place financially? Do you want to be in a better place physically? Do you want to be in a better spiritual place? Do you want to be in a better place emotionally where you're calm, where you're joyful, and where you're happy? Do you want to be in a better place financially where you have more money, you have um, more income, more wealth? Do you want to be in a better place physically where you want your health to be better? You want to start walking or jogging. You want to do things that are going to make you physically stronger. How do you get from this place of where we are currently to the place where we want to be? So that's what the two steps are going to be. First of all, you have to know, before we get to the two steps, first of all, you have to know what do you want, first of all. Do you know what you want? Do you know what your goal is? Do you know what you want to see happen in your life? Or do you just accept what today is as normal, that it's not going to get better? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that because you are a human being with full of choices, full of intelligence, full of ideas. You and God got this. And you can take yourself and put yourself in a better place. You can get to a better place physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, anyway. You can do it. You have the power. And I'm going to give you the two steps. But you have to know where you want to go first. You can't get where you want to go if you don't know where you want to go. So the first thing I would really encourage you to do is make a decision about where do you want to go. What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? How much money do you want to make? What weight do you want to be at? What do you want your A1C to be? What do you want um, your relationships to look like? If you don't know what you want, you can't get there. So that's the first step. It's not really a step. It's just you have to live your life with intention. And so that's really what it's about. So what is your intention in your life of what you want to be like, where you want to go, what you want to do? So this lesson, this thing we're talking about today is not really something that you just listen to. This is really something that you work on. This is something you sit down with pen and paper and you pray about and you get quiet about. That you just um, spend the time inside. This is an inside job. Other people can't tell you what you want. You have to decide what you want. Okay? So now let's Go ahead and assume that you have done your work and you know what you want. You know where you want to be in the next 10 days. You know what you want to be, let's say, by Thanksgiving. You know what you want your re a relationship to look better at by Christmas. Um, first of all, one of the things I've noticed that... Um, I heard this the other day and I was so flabbergasted by it, it just kind of took my breath away. Um, somebody said, I am just so mad at this person because all they ever want to think about is the long term. They don't ever want to think about the short term. And I thought to myself, you should be thankful for that person. <laughs> and that's what you should be thinking about. If you think only for today, you're not going to get anywhere. If you're just trying to survive today, you might survive today, but tomorrow's going to look just like today. 
if you don't do some planning and some preparation for your future because the long term is what makes the difference where do you want to be not just tomorrow but where do you want to be in 10 days where do you want to be in three months where do you want to be by christmas where do you want to be by your birthday next year where do you want to be in five years you've got to have something long term so that you you've got it, it takes you longer than today to change and to shift so you've got to be thinking about the long term it has to be a part of your plan so what is your plan for the long term where do you want to be in 10 days maybe you're looking uh, this is near the end of a certain month so where do you want to be by the end of this month where do you want to be by the end of uh, by thanksgiving where do you want to be by 1231 where do you want to be? You've got to plan that and you've got to think about that. And one of the ways you do it is you have to dream about it and you have to think about it. And you have to open up the, your mind to all the possibilities. And so once you have this plan, once you've made this decision of this is really what I want, then you can take the two steps I'm going to talk about. So let's say, for instance, that you have a plan that you want to lose 10 pounds and you've given yourself a deadline. You want to lose 10 pounds in, let's say, by Christmas, okay? So you've got this plan. I'm, I'm going to lose 10 pounds by Christmas. And so you wake up and tomorrow when you wake up, you just make bad decisions. <laughs> You make a bad decision at breakfast, you make a bad decision during midday, you make a bad decision at lunch, you make a bad decision at dinner, you make a bad decision at the uh, in your mi midnight snack. Uh, you have all these bad decisions. So how do you shift yourself from constantly making bad decisions and not achieving your goals and your dreams, not achieving the things you want, how do you shift to start achieving them? Well, one of the things you have to do is that you have to think about what is the best thing that could happen when I achieve this goal? What is the best thing that could happen when I lose 10 pounds? What is the best thing that could happen when I begin to become a spiritual person? What is the best thing that could happen when I get calm and joyful in my spirit? What is the best thing that could happen when my son and I start having a good relationship? What is the best thing that could happen? And you have to ask yourself this question. What is the best thing that could happen? What is the best thing that could happen? And then you have to just sit, get a piece of paper and a pen. You have to get still with yourself. And you have to write out and think about all the great things that could happen when you achieve this goal. My son and I will be able to have conversations on the phone. My son will come over to my house and we can go do things. We, my son and I can have Thanksgiving together. What about losing weight? My A1C is going to be better. I'm going to be healthier. I'm going to live longer. My clothes are going to fit. I'm going to feel good about myself. I'm going to look in the mirror and say, girl, you look good. I'm going to be, you know, you think about all the good things that could happen because of you doing the right thing. And so sometimes we just think that our, um, <clears throat> we think that our gut we think that we can gut it out. We think that our um, willpower is going to take us where we need to go. Guess what happens? It doesn't work. Your willpower, if you're extraordinary, will rescue you about 2% of the time. That's what the statistic is. So really, if you're depending on your willpower to be strong, it won't happen. That's why that's why you're not shifting right now to what you want because you're trusting your willpower to come in and make good decisions. That's not going to happen. What you have to do to make good decisions so you can get to where you want to go is number one, you've got to visualize and think about the great things that can happen when I do these right decisions and do these right things. And so that is how when you think about all the good things that can happen, that I could have a good relationship with my son, that my clothes will look so good on me, that I will be healthy and strong, that I will have a three months worth of money in the bank for my emergency fund by Christmas. 
You've got to think about all of these things and see them. And many times you being able to visualize what is the best thing that could happen to me, those good things that can happen, that will help you shift from making a bad decision to making a good decision. Because now you're thinking correctly. You're able to close your eyes and see it happening, that it's already done. And you can say, oh, that feels so good for my clothes. I can just see them. I can feel them on me. I can look in the mirror and I know I'm going to feel so good. I'm going to be so healthy. I'm loving the voice of my son on the phone talking to me because he loves me and because we have a good relationship. You have to be able to see those things and feel them. And that will shift you to making good decisions. But you know what? Sometimes that doesn't work. <laughs> and so you have to have another step too. Okay. So if step one all the best things that can happen don't work, then sometimes you have to go to step two. And step two is this. What are the worst things that could happen if I do not do this? What are the worst things that are going to happen if I do not make these good decisions to eat right? What's the worst thing that could happen if I do not get calm and quiet and joyful what is the worst decision this was the worst thing that could happen if i do not have a good relationship with my son what is the worst thing that could happen to me if i don't develop um good daily habits to be able to make money and to save money you have to think about not just the good things from step one that could happen but what are the worst things that could happen to me so let's do one of those okay because this is what if, if thinking about the good things that are going to happen the wonderful things that are going to happen won't shift you and help you make good decisions then perhaps this will you need to sit down really and think about this it needs to break your heart it needs to be emotional that this could really happen. This could really happen if I do not start doing the things on a daily basis I need to do to make great things happen for me. So here you go. What is the worst thing that could happen if I don't have a good relationship with my son? Okay, quiet and still. Let it break your heart, okay? If I don't work on having a good relationship with my son, he will never talk to me again. I will never hear his voice. He will not call me and say, Hey, Mom, how you doing? I love you. What's the worst thing that could happen if I don't have a great relationship with my son? I won't get to see my grandkids. My grandkids will not come and see me. My grandkids won't know me. My grandkids won't love me. I can't pour into their lives. What's the worst thing that could happen if I don't start eating right? What's the worst thing that happens if I don't lose this weight? I am going to get bigger and bigger. My blood pressure is going to go up and up. My A1C is going to spiral out of control and I am going to lose my feet and my toes and maybe my leg. My leg could be amputated. Do you see what I'm saying? This isn't fun to think about, but if you think about what are the worst things that can happen, that's sometimes what you have to think about so that you can immediately emotionally pull it up and say, whoa, that's too high a price to pay. I got to make better decisions. Do you see the purpose of thinking about the worst case scenario? It will shift you to do something and go into action as opposed to continuing to do the same thing you've been doing that isn't working for you. So think about what is the worst case scenario? What is the worst case scenario if I don't have a three month emergency fund? What is the worst thing that's gonna happen if I don't fund my retirement account? Well, then I'm gonna be poor. I'm gonna be broke. Somebody's gonna have to come in and rescue me. I'm gonna have to lose my house. I won't have a place to live. I won't be able to take care of myself. What's the worst thing that can happen if I don't start making money and saving money? Is that I'm going to be alone. I am going to be broke. I am, I mean, you just have to keep digging and digging and digging. What is going to happen if I don't start making the money I need to make and bearing part of the responsibility for my home expenses? 
My husband's going to be mad at me. He's going to be angry with me. He's going to be fussing at me all the time. I'm going to feel bad and I'm going to be depressed. And then that's just going to make it worse because then I still, then I'll be making less money. And my husband, he's going to be madder and madder. And he could literally walk out of this marriage and I would be abandoned and by myself still not making money. Do you see what I'm saying? Sometimes thinking about the best that could happen will really shift us to doing the things we should do on a daily basis. But sometimes it's thinking about the worst things that could happen and letting them break your heart and letting them make you cry and letting them impact your soul to the point that you start doing the things you need to be doing on a daily basis. Now, girl and boys and girls, let's say this. Today, I'm doing great things. Today, I'm making good decisions. Today, I am doing the things I need to do to put myself where I need to be. I am active and alive and working. I am making it happen. If you didn't hear the whole thing, go back and listen. The whole thing. Because today is a great day for you to shift into being the person God has called you to be. That you know you are and that it is time to show up and start acting like it. Much love to you. Please click above. Please register on my um, on YouTube, uh, subscribe to my site, ring the little bell, and know I love you. I'm here for you, and just so excited about my future. I want you to be excited about your future. Let's go make some great things happen, okay? Have a great day. Much love to you.